my own. I always loved to spend time with David. I would pick him up from school, often him and his friend Blake, and they always would trick me into getting them Slurpee or some kind of candy on the way home. They, he had, David had me wrapped around his finger when he was younger. He just followed me everywhere. Um, when, when Rex, once, not Rex, yeah, Rex, Rex Johan and Dad and David went to Disneyland one year. And, but Mom and Dad, Mom and David graduated together in, in, in May of 2003. Mom graduated from ASU and David graduated high school. And then David served a mission in St. Louis, Missouri. My sister's going to talk more about that. Just wanted to share many stories with my brother. I he went we went hiking with the missionaries. My dad would he was so little that he'd try and keep up with us, but we'd hike um, then it was still called Squaw Peak. I don't know the name right now, but he would try and keep up with his missionaries. We'd go hiking on Monday mornings and dad would make whole wheat waffles. And um David was, I read the letters recently, and I found the letters my mom saved that David wrote to me on my mission, <laughs> that I wrote to him. He was always a happy kid, always so happy, and we were all so grateful to have him, to have him be a part of our family. Um, in his teen years, he went rollerblading. He, he went, we went, we went rollerblading together. He went rollerblading. He played laser tag, lots of camping and fishing with dad. Um, he gamed with his friends, but this is back in the day where they would pick up all their Nintendo or whatever they were using and they would take it to each other's houses and set up their equipment together and play. He did a lot of that. He spent many hours playing Monopoly when he was at Grandma and Grandpa Jarvis's with Felice and Janice. Um, I often took him, I had memberships to the zoo in the Arizona Science Museum, and David went along with me every time I went to help me with the kids, and I took the kids I babysat in tow as well. But and it, when David also helped to care for my grandma Jarvis before, before, she, um, before she passed away. I was going to bring this, but when I was on my mission, I bought David a replica of the Zulu war, warrior shield. And David loved that and cherished that. I've always seen David as a warrior and a missionary. He loves the gospel. He loves teaching the gospel. When he was in primary, in our, in our ward, had a missionary activity. I was 17 and already a primary teacher. David was about four. Elder Checker and Elder Werner were the missionaries in our ward at the time. And David wore his future missionary tag all the time. He wanted to grow up fast so he could be a missionary. He loved to see, I hope they would call me on a mission. Shortly after our primary activity, the front door bell rang, and there was Big David and Little David. Oh, I didn't tell that part. Before, my mom always wanted to call David David, and my Auntie Lane had a baby and named him David. And so it took, some, took her a while to realize that she could still call, call David David. So we had David Anthony, but it was always Big David and Little David <laughs> growing up. But this day, Big David and Little David might was standing at the door dressed as missionary, if this is if my memory serves me correctly. In our home growing up, it was always said, when you serve a mission, missions were looked forward to with excitement. Dad and Grandpa Jarvis always shared many stories of their missions. Mom and Dad often invited return missionaries over to talk about their missions. It was, it was a great honor and a privilege to to serve a mission in, in our family. Just a few days before David passed, he shared that he was being called home to be a missionary. He didn't know why it had to be now, but it did. One morning after David passed away, I walked into the living room where I studied my scriptures every morning, and I very clearly heard him say, good morning, Martha. I smiled, and in my mind's eye, I could see him grinning at me, sitting in the red rocking chair, in the rocking chair, just watching Jocelyn sleep. He told me that he and Mom were busy teaching the gospel, and sometimes, to, sometimes together. 
and that they often serve in the temple. David, I know that David and Mom are going about the Lord's work on the other side of the bell, and I pray that we can also be valiant in the here and now and live the gospel so that others can see Christ through us. And may we be great missionaries and help gather and scatter Israel on this side of the bell. And I say these things in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.